A cold front approaching our area is going to bring us a chance of a shower, mainly during the early hours of tomorrow. 40% chance of rain for the upstate, mainly during the wee hours of the morning, mainly before 8 o'clock. And then throughout the afternoon tomorrow, we might see a lingering shower across the Midlands PD or Low Country, but really not too likely of a chance, only 20%. Mid 70s for the upstate and then upper 70s and potentially lower 80s for the eastern half of the state. Now it's all thanks to this cold front that's off to our west. It really doesn't look like a slight chance of a shower based off of this look. But once it hits the Appalachian Mountains, watch it just die out. The mountains really just suck out all of that moisture from the storm system. So by tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock when you're starting to wake up for work or school, it's just a spot shower here or there. It's really not too much to it. And it's going to continue to fizzle out and die out as we head throughout the early hours of tomorrow morning and into early afternoon. And that cooler air is going to start to funnel in behind that cold front. It's not going to change our temperatures too much. It's only going to be about a 5 to 10 degree temperature drop throughout your Thursday and into your Friday. But another system starts to to roll in by Friday. So while we're clear on Thursday, some more clouds are going to start to move into the area by your Friday. And that's really when we start to see our temperature drop move in as that second system comes in. So we do see some 60s for your Saturday and Sunday. But once that system does roll through, it's going to increase our temperatures as a warm front lifts through our area. And then we eventually make it back in to the mid to upper 70s. So we could see some 60s on the map for your Saturday and Sunday around 68 and 69 for your Saturday in the upstate Midlands, but we are still seeing some 70s closer to the PD and low country. Even cooler as we head into your Sunday, but we also have some more rain, so that cloud cover is really going to limit our heating as well as the cold front that moved through. That's really going to keep that cooler air in place. But our best chance of rain is going to come on your Sunday. While we might see a spot shower here or there, it's mainly just clouds. For your Saturday. So if you plan on heading out to homecoming at Williams Bryce, you might run into a shower towards the end of the game, but early on it's looking pretty good and quite comfortable temperature wise 64 around 12 o'clock, 68 at 2, and then 70 is right around where we will top out. If we even make it to 70, then we are going to start to cool off towards the end of the game, and we also increase our rain chances to around 30% by around 7 or 8 o'clock on your Saturday night at Williams Bryce. But in the short term, only a shower for your Wednesday morning. We start to clear out as we head into your Thursday. Another system rolls in by late Friday, and that increases our cloud cover heading into the weekend. Shower chances do increase as we head towards Sunday. And by your Halloween, we are expecting a couple of showers on Halloween as well. We really start to clear out, and we keep our temperatures comfortable in the 70s after that system does start to roll out of here. So keep it here at Will's Weather for all your latest information.